Hi, it's Molly with Sacred Fire Creative, and today we're going to edit the Shamandala Services website. So the reason we chose this theme, and it's a WordPress website, is because it's very easy to edit. There's a drag and drop editor, and it's called the Make theme, M-A-K-E. And so we are already logged into WordPress, and you get a chance to see the home page here. It has a main slider that moves forward, and then it's laid out in columns of three. And so there's an image at the top and some text, and then more images at the bottom. And so I'm gonna show you how to edit the page. And first, I'm gonna to go to the dashboard. And when you first log in to WordPress, this is what you'll see. And so at a glance here, I see there are seven pages in the site, so I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then it's going to give me a list of all the seven pages on the website. If I go to Shamandala Home and click Edit, I'll be able to edit the home page. If I scroll down, what I can see are the different images in the slideshow banner. And then we saw the three columns with an image at the top and then the three images across the bottom. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to edit one of the slider images, the banner, the main banner. So if I hover over this image and just click it, it takes me right to the media library. And I can go ahead and scroll down and choose another image and just cl click select. And there you go. So it replaces it right there. And so for that change to take effect, I would need to click update. And once, once that page is updated, we'll see the change. Since I don't actually want to change this, I'm just going to give you some more examples of how to change the home page. And so I'm going to scroll down. And again, if I want to change the text, I'm just going to click directly on the text. And you'll see I can just go ahead in and edit it right here. When I'm done, I click Done. And again, if I want those changes to take effect, I'm going to go up here and click update. I'm going to scroll down. If I want to change the image, all I have to do is click directly on that image once. And then I can either select another image from the media library or I can choose to upload files and select a file from my computer. Now say I want to change an image from the media library. All I have to do is select that image and then press the select button and it will change it. Now the same goes for the images across the bottom. It's really easy, just click it, select another image and press the select button at the bottom. It replaces that image and of course, you want to hit update if you want those changes to take effect. So I don't actually want those changes to take effect, so I'm just going to go ahead and view the page. Now say I want to change the gallery. So that page is a little bit different. I go to that page, I can see they're just different images. So if I want to add some images, say I have some new artwork that I want to feature in the gallery, I can click Edit Page, and I can just go right in. Again, clicking that image and replacing it with another image here or uploading a file from the image gallery being sure to click select when I'm done. 
Now if I scroll all the way to the bottom, I can also add another row or add another image. And if you click that three times, you'll have another row. If I want to move around the images, I can just drag and drop. So if I want this one to go here, I can just move it. If I say, if I'm at the top, and I really want these to be changed, I can just drag and drop. And again, all I want to do is click the update button to make sure that those changes take effect. And it's pretty simple. It's a very easy interface, just drag and drop. And that's why I love the make theme for WordPress. Thanks a lot.